Hey, Sharon Ballard here, your Georgia Wealth Wellness Attorney, here to help you to eliminate debt with bankruptcy, build wealth with real estate, and protect it all with estate planning. Did you know when you file bankruptcy, not all debts are wiped out? There are some debts that are excluded from discharge when you're filing bankruptcy. I'm going to give you six of them. This is not an all-inclusive list. There's um, some other ones, but these are pretty much the top six I come across and see. Uh, most often when filing bankruptcy cases. The first one is going to be recent tax debts. So any recent tax debt that you owe to any state government entity, um, recent is going to be anything within the last three and a half years uh, from the time the tax debt came due or when you filed the taxes, you're going to still owe that after bankruptcy. So if you file a 13, you will pay it back. If you file a chapter seven, that debt will still remain due when you're done the bankruptcy because those are deemed priority taxes. The next one's gonna be student loans. Student loans are not wiped out automatically when you file bankruptcy. Although there are procedures in place where you can file a motion to see about getting your student loans discharged, understand that's a totally separate process. So when you file a chapter seven and a chapter 13, your student loans will still survive that bankruptcy case. Child support and court order alimony. Those are not gonna be wiped out when you file bankruptcy. They will survive the bankruptcy. So if you have any court order, child support, or alimony, you continue to make those payments as if you didn't file the bankruptcy because there will be no change in the payment plan or anything like that. Now, if you file a 13, totally separate. If you have arrears, you can pay the arrears back in the 13, but totally unrelated. Okay, intentional torts. Intentional torts are not dischargeable in bankruptcy. So if you go out there starting some foolishness and you get in trouble and that person sues you and you owe them money for that tort, any damages or things like that, you cannot go and file bankruptcy. That debt will not be dischargeable if you are charged with an intentional tort and you owe money resulting from an intentional tort. If you have debt that's incurred from fraud, so if a loan that you borrowed or a credit card company say that you induced them to give you the loan by false pretenses and you lied and it's fraud, then that's another debt that's possibly could not be discharged. That is an exception as well. So fraud. And also you have criminal restitution and court fines. Those are not dischargeable as well. Now I give you all six. Let me think. So I said recent tax debts, student loans, you have child support or alimony, you have debts incurred from intentional torts, um, you have debts incurred from fraud, and you have criminal restitution or court fines or penalties imposed on you are not dischargeable. I hope this information helps and I will see you in the next video.